The first step of creating this text animation is to go to the type tool, select your video and type out a word or phrase of your choice. Now we'll go to effect controls, go to the text window. We're going to change the font. We're going to change the weight. We'll increase the size. We'll change the color of this to your desired color of choice. And then we can just center this up. It's also really important to center align this. Now we'll zoom in on the timeline and we'll just make a copy of this layer. And then we'll go back to the first layer and change the color to a different color. So let's go for blue. It doesn't really matter because we're going to delete this later on. Then we're going to move the copy text onto video layer two, lock the bottom layer and move two over. Now we're going to delete all of the characters except for the first character. Then we want to zoom in. So let's go to around 400% and we want to move this into the very center. So this is our anchor point and this is where the animation comes from. So we're going to place this in the center horizontally and then we're just going to move that over to the very left. Now, if we go back to the very beginning, so we pull the timeline over to the beginning, we'll unlink uniform scale, go to scale width and pull that down to zero. Create a brand new keyframe on scale width. We'll go five frames to the right. Pull that past 100. So let's go 120 or something. Then we'll go another four to the right and reset that back to 100. Then zoom in on those keyframes and on that last keyframe, we're going to convert that to an ease in. So right click and ease in. So we end up with this. Now you just want to move that text on top of the B and you just want to copy and paste this over and over again for every single character. And once you've done that, you just want to offset all of these layers just by a few frames. So zoom in, we'll go two frames to the right and move R over. Two to the right, move O over and keep repeating this. So we're just delaying the starting point of each layer. Now, when we play this back from the very beginning, we've got this really nice text animation, although we can just now delete the template and we end up with this. It looks great.